what I think I was initially attracted to was that you see these injustices that, that, that stemmed from the Second World War but bleed through all the way to today. And this is one example of many. Uh, and this, this very case led forward to other cases coming out of the woodwork. But yeah, I think to see such a personal story told so well uh, is wonderful. I did a fair amount of research in regard to Fritz and Maria and where they came from and who they were. But the, the real crux of, of them as characters, you see them falling in love, and that's, you can get your head around that. But, but it's, it's the idea of leaving and saying goodbye truly, in the truest sense of the word. You know, we've all said goodbye to people at the airport. But you know you'll see them again. And you know roughly where they are and how they are, and you can call them. But to truly get your head around saying goodbye to those people you love, everything you know, your home, with no idea of their fate, is unimaginable. So yeah, there's no amount of research you can really do to get your head around something like that. There was one particular day where we arrived on set and there was a huge avenue and there were swastikas hung from all of the government buildings and there was a parade of uh, Mercedes Benzes with, with Nazi officers and Nazi troops all saluting and a, you know, 250 uh, supporting artists cheering and th that's terrifying, and, and we, we are, Maria and Fritz had to escape from this being playing uh, Jewish people, we had to get out of there. And you realize the, the stakes involved and, and how the city you once called home can suddenly turn against you quite so violently, and there were other horrible scenes like that. And just witnessing it, you know, combined with the knowledge you have of history, but actually seeing it three-dimensionally gets under your skin. You just meet someone and you sort of instantly know that, you, you know, chemistry is a sort of objective thing. You can't really manufacture it. You can't really understand what it is and why it's there. But she's just a joy to work with. Some people are and some people aren't. And she is. She's funny and serious and we work the same way. Um, yeah, it's just, there's no effort. Today, for instance, having to do this terrifying singing, just having her there, took the pressure off. Um, and in terms of her and Helen and how similar they are, but you know, in, in appearance and in mannerism, yeah, it's faultless.